Okay, now let us look at the scenario where we have to check for a condition within a parent condition. So let us create a program on tree.py and checking for a condition within a condition, it is it will be implemented with a nested if. Okay, nothing but an if block within a parent if block. So let us first get some input from the user. Say enter a number. Let it be in choice. And yeah, before that, let's similar to our previous example. Let us use some choices like one addition and then two can be subtraction. You don't have to go for multiplication and division here. And then input enter number and remember to do a type casting. Now let us evaluate what is the value of choice. If choice equal to equal to one, do something. Print you entered you chose addition. Similarly, LF choice is equal to equal to two print. You chose subtraction. Neither of these, then we get to the else block, then say print valid price. Okay, so now we got some if blocks, right? So within this if block, now we will be doing some operation for addition, we will be doing Okay, we will first get the numbers. So A is equal to again integer input say please enter number one. Then B will be of input that we say is enter number two. Okay. Since we are within the if block of the choice of addition, we will calculate C as C is equal to A plus B. And normally it would be just printing saying that the addition of two numbers is C. Right? Let us think of a scenario where instead of just printing the sum of C, you want to check whether the sum is above a certain limit, and depending on that, you want to print a slightly different message. Let us say if the value of C happens to be greater than 100, you want to uh, show the message saying that the sum of two numbers is greater than 100 else we can say that the sum of two numbers is so and so let's implement that how do we do that for checking a condition we will use the if statement again but note that this if statement is still part of the parent if statement over here so this will have to be indented as well if c greater than 100 and since we want some condition to be part of this child if block, so we need to indent it again with respect to this child if statement. Okay, hope that is clear. So here I will say print the sum of two numbers greater than 100. It is, and we print C. Else, and we can print have this print statement. So this again, you cannot print it at this uh, level of if and else. You need to indent it because we want this print statement 
happen only when the else condition is met. That is when the C is not greater than 100, that's when we want to just print a regular message saying that the addition of two numbers is whatever it is. It's greater than 100, we want to print this statement. Hope this is clear. And remember, this if statement and else statement, these are child if and else statements, and these have to be indented with respect to the parent if statement. And if at all you happen to have another if statement within this, again the same rule applies, you will have to indent it with respect to this if statement. Okay. <clears throat> so this is about the nested if statements. So let us execute this program. So addition one here I choose fifty less than hundred. Sorry, yeah, we are just looking at number one, right? So let me add the second number twenty. So the addition of two numbers is seventy, the normal message. And if I re execute this program, one addition again, let us say the first number is 60, and the second number is 80, some will be greater than 100. So we will get the special message the sum of two numbers is greater than 100 and it is 140. Hope this is clear. <clears throat> 